Hey there, Brenna Stoll here, and we are ready for day two of the Transform Three Areas in Three Days Challenge. I am so glad that you're here. We are going to get into some momentum, realize how little time it really takes, and also see what a difference it makes for us, just emotionally and mentally, when we're living with and working with ordered spaces. So I wanna encourage you, we've got a link for a Google Doc for your work, your day two worksheet, and we are going to tackle a closet today. So depending on how much time you have and what closet you're working on, um, this can look like different things. If you've only got 30 minutes, and then I want you to pick your closet that makes would make the biggest difference for you to have organized on a day-to-day -day basis. So it does not have to be your absolute most disorganized closet. No, that's not the case. If you don't use that closet very often, don't worry about that right now. What I want you to zero in on is the closet that you use every day. So it may be your own bedroom closet. I'm not sure. It might be your linen closet. It might be it might be your pantry, really. It might be a kid's closet that's driving you crazy, but I just want you to zero in on that. So first question, what closet in your house bugs you every day? So you're going to see similarities between yesterday's worksheet and today's. We tweaked it a bit for closets, but um, how would it make a difference for you to have that closet organized? So what closet is it that would make the biggest difference just emotionally, just encouraging? If you could walk, open that closet every day or open it every day next week and it is organized, which one would make you happiest to have? So then I want you to write down the closet I will organize today is, you're going to fill that in, steps to transform your closet. Again, I want to encourage you to take a before picture because so much of the work of organizing just disappears and goes away when we do it. So it is so encouraging to look back on. So take that before picture. Number two, you are going to determine the function of the closet. Set the timer for 30 minutes and because it can get overwhelming, right? Especially if you're looking at your own closet and you're thinking, wow, I can't even get started here. Just set the timer and say, whatever I can get done in 30 minutes, I'll get done. Assess which area of the closet needs the most help. So if you're working with a larger area, like you might say, if I'm working on my own closet, where I keep my shoes and this and that, you know, like this lower area here is what I need to work on. So kind of section it off so that you don't get overwhelmed and you're just going to take it section by section. Um, what you'll do is once you decide which area needs your help the most, you are going to go ahead and empty that one area of the closet. Yes, take everything out of that area. Then you are, and I want to encourage you, this is where you watch for the surprise. I, I put that at the top of the paper too, because you know what? Almost every single time, even if it's just a drawer, it never fails. There is at least one surprise along the way, either finding something I've been looking for or or actually seeing something that I didn't even remember that I had, or I don't know, it's it's always fun, It's or there's some kind of cute thing that just makes me laugh. So watch for the surprise as you empty out that area of your closet. Then you're going to put back in only, only what's needed in that area of the closet. As I said yesterday about the drawer, this will leave you with an organized, purposeful area when you do this, but you're also going to have a mound of stuff that you did not, that you took out, but it didn't belong there. With those things, you are going to have, you're either going to throw it away, give it away, or put it away. So you've got your big trash can that you wanna make sure, I should have put that actually a step like three or something up there. Bring a trash can in, and then you're going to want to have either two laundry baskets or a box and a laundry basket. Um, one will be the giveaway box. So anything that you no longer need or don't really use, but someone else could use it, you're going to put in that box. Anything that you, you definitely want to keep, you're using it on a regular basis, but it just belongs somewhere else. You'll put that in the put away bin, but you're not running around doing that during that 30 minutes. Okay. I want to talk you through this. I will say I've never had a, had trouble at all. <laughs> well, for the most part, it's been easy to organize my kids' closets, but when it comes to my own, there are some serious emotional I don't know, it's just, it can be paralyzing because all the emotions are involved. So I wanna talk you through it a little bit on some things. I will say one thing that makes me really, really um, do better is to just imagine it's not my closet. Imagine this is an organizing job. I used to do that. I would go into other people's homes 
and get their closets organized. It's very easy. It's logical. It's like, oh no, this wouldn't belong here. You don't even use this here. And why are you keeping this? And things like that. So pretend, just close your eyes, pretend that you've gone into someone else's home and then you're going to walk into that closet and see what you see. Um, try to look at it as logically as you can. Again, here are some great questions we talked about. If you are doing your closet, again, I want to encourage you to pray. Pray for wisdom and courage, knowing that the more we streamline, like less is more, right? The more we streamline, the less cluttered our space is going to be, the less cluttered our space up here is going to be. Um, it will be so rewarding. So ask yourself, who could be getting good use out of this item? Is this item worth the time and space it takes to keep it? I might wear it a couple of times a year, worth the time and space it takes to keep it. It's a special dress, but will I ever really wear it again? Do I have a picture of myself in it? And what is the worst thing that could happen if I got rid of this? So ask yourself those questions and try to be really ruthless about it if you, if you really typically struggle with, with parting with things because you will be so excited about the space that you clear in your closet and right here, like I said. So after you're done, I want you to take an after picture of that area, pat yourself on the back for the progress you have made, and post your before and after photos under the day two post in Coach Mom Wins at Home Facebook group. I am